This is a review of the UTG Tactical OP Bipod. It has a quick disconnect lever mount and it's adjustable in a height from 8 inches to 12.4 inches. Inside the packaging you'll find the bipod itself, you'll find a swivel stud kit, you'll have an allen wrench that you can use to tighten up the quick release for the Picatinny rail. You'll also find instructions on how to install the uh, swivel stud kit and also how to install and use the bipod. On this side here you can see the quick release mount for the Picatinny rail and you can see this lever here. When you move this lever it tightens it up and locks it onto the Picatinny rail. When I first put it on my rifle it was quite loose. It still is. I haven't adjusted it yet. But you can see here on the end if you look very very closely you'll see this allen screw I'm talking about. You can adjust this and this adjusts the tension as you turn it so that it tightens more tightly on the Picatinny rail. You see some people commenting that this isn't staying tight. I wonder if they're doing this adjustment and I also wonder, I notice it's pretty easy to turn. Uh, I get a lot of uh, recoil from shooting AR-15s and what I'm wondering if a little bit of Loctite might improve that situation. If you have a swivel stud on your rifle this is another way to mount it and not have to use this directly on your gun. You would mount it here to this smaller rail. This here you can take off this tightening nut here. You can see it coming apart. And right here is a very, very small pin with a screwdriver slot in it. I don't know if I get a good, yeah, you can see the screwdriver slot there. That's the pin that holds it on to the uh, swivel stud on your rifle. So what you want to do there is you want to unscrew that to mount it properly. Once you unscrew that, uh, you would slip this over the swivel stud and you want to make sure that the hole that goes through this piece, you can see through the top here where that threaded piece is, that'll be out of there. You want to make sure the hole lines up perfectly and when it does you're in, you're in good shape. You want to put that back through there, screw it into place and tighten it down. Once you have this mounted to the swivel stud of your rifle, you can put this piece on. This is a uh, rubber padded portion here that will go up against the stock of your rifle. Of course it'll go all the way through now because I don't have the rifle on there but it will be locked in a place about like so. Then you want to take this piece here and screw it on there and as you do that it will tighten that plate up against your rifle and you want to tighten it pretty tightly. You can even put a little Allen wrench for example if you wanted to into this hole and pull it and lock it down to get it nice and tight. Now you've just added this small Picatinny rail right here. Let me turn it so you can see it right there. And that Picatinny rail that you've just added using that swivel stud will now allow you to mount the bipod by using this connection right here. When I opened this box here to get this bipod out, I was impressed with the quality of it. It's very nicely made, very nice material. It's nicely anodized and protected. I like the fact here that on the bottom right here, it has rubberized feet and it stands in place very easily and very tightly. You also have seven different adjustment heights that you can use. You can pop it out the way you want. And what you'll see when you do that, you'll see here on these rods, you'll see these rings and you can see those rings and those rings will allow you to do the seven different positions and you can extend it that much. So you can see the difference between the two legs. What this does for you, these are known detents. If you know that you're comfortable shooting, say right here in the fifth detent, what you can do in that case is that you can take this and pull it out to there every time and set the exact height you want very quickly and easily. If you wanted, you can also have essentially an infinite adjustment. You can adjust it in between the detents and this right here, you can see one on each leg. This is a locking wheel and now it's locked between the different detents. I can also lock it directly into a detent if I like, but now you can lock it anywhere you want. So you have an infinite setting any place you want, even between these little uh, detents on the rod. As you can see, I build AR-15s. This is one I just finished. It has a uh, a nice red dot scope on it from Aimpoint and a three times multiplier. What I like to do is tweak these rifles in at 50 and 100 yards and really have them in there pretty tightly. And uh, this having a bipod really helps. Here you can see I have a quad rail on my uh, gun here. It's a free floating rail. I'm going to have to remove this uh, protective ladder here. It's a rubberized ladder that fits on the rail. That frees up the mounting area where I'm going to put this. Since I have several guns, that's why I wanted this quick release. 
I can take this off and on of different guns, sight them in, get the sights adjusted, and I can leave it on one of the guns or I can move it around as I desire. Here you can see I have this uh, put onto the rail and you can see how loose it is. I've even got it latched down. This is where people are always talking about this coming loose. I'm going to take this uh, little set screw which adjusts the tension and I'm going to tighten it down. And it doesn't take, I mean this has only been one turn so far and I'm really not cranking on it hard. You can see it's still a little bit loose but not near as much. It's about 90% tightened. There's another quarter of a turn and now it's on there solid. Now I can turn that up a little bit more. It's best if you do that. You can actually open this up and unlock it. But that's how you adjust the tension on the Picatinny rail. What I've found to do here is adjust this with this handle up. Put this uh, set screw here pretty tight and then flip this down. I'm going to tell you what, it's going to be hard when it's adjusted properly. It snaps down pretty hard. And as you can see now, it's pretty solid on the gun. I'm moving the gun, but not really moving the rail or the bipod. For those of you who are really concerned about it being tight, I've loosened that up. You can see it's loose now. The best way to do that is to put this Allen wrench in there and tighten it down and put it in there really tight. And when you do, the thing will be rock solid. But I got to tell you, you won't be able to lift this quick release up and get it off and on. That's probably my only negative about this uh, mount is in order to get it tight, sometimes you're going to have to tighten it so tight that you can't use the quick disconnect lever. Now that I have this mounted, I wanted to show you have two very strong uh, springs. Those are the springs that adjust the, uh, the legs down. This angle between the two legs here you see is 50 degrees. I can now reach up and extend the legs out to the max if I want. And now it's set up that you can have it set up and you can adjust the height uh, of, of the length of those bipod legs to the, any of the adjustments you want. Like I said, there are seven different detents, plus you have an infinite adjustment between those using those locking wheels. Here you can see what the rifle looks like with the bipod set up. It's extended about, uh, I would say, a little bit less than halfway. That's more than adequate for me at the range to do my testing with it. I'm happy with this bipod. It's a good price, good quality. It's well made, good quality materials. It's nice and solid. It's not going any place. Uh, I'm going to take it to the range, shoot it with the recoil, and see how it works out. As I promised, I went to the range with this tripod, and I set up my rifle, and I sighted in. I was trying to hit the center here, and you can see that I was shooting low. So then with the tripod, I was able to adjust it to get to shooting patterns like this on the target. And uh, I tell you what, that really steadies your shot. Uh, this patterns here, or these patterns here, I didn't even have my elbow resting on uh, the ground or anything. If I had done that, they would have been tighter. And then when I thought I had it sighted in, I tried to shoot and shoot the hand and shoot the fingers of the target and you can see it at 30 yards it's pretty good this band here as I pointed out these were shot at 30 yards so uh, the tripod was very stable very solid never flinched never moved I like it a lot this is an excellent product I rated it five stars this review is done by JJCEO